Hello, uh, this is the specimen showing bilateral kidneys, bilateral ureters, the urinary bladder, as well as the prostate gland. Um, if you're wondering what this is, this is the abdominal aorta. And we can actually see the branches uh, coming out of the renal artery supplying the kidney. So let's look at the cause of the pathology. And for this, we need to focus on the prostate gland. Now, the prostatic urethra runs through the prostate gland. It is not really caught in this plane, unfortunately. But uh, what we can see is that the prostate gland is enlarged. How do we know that it's enlarged? Usually, we do a per rectal examination and we see how many finger breaths uh, the width of the prostate is. Um, you can see that it's even bulging here into the bladder. So when there is enlargement, there is compression on the prostatic urethra and narrowing, and this results in obstruction, lower urinary tract obstruction, so the patient will present with obstructive symptoms uh, with abnormal urination. And you can see that the bladder itself is somewhat trabeculated, and this is because of hypertrophy of the smooth muscle in order to try to expel the urine. Now, in addition, because of the increased uh, uh, outlet pressure and obstruction, there is hydroureter. So there is dilatation of both the ureters because this occurs uh, distal to the um, ureteric orifices. So there's dilatation of both ureters and this is called hydroureter and this is actually reflected back into the kidney in the pelvic callicial system and we can see that the renal pelvis is also dilated and so are the calyces. And when you have a dilated pelvic callicial system associated with atrophy of the renal parenchyma, this is called hydronephrosis. And due to progressive destruction of the renal parenchyma, including the glomeruli, uh, as well as the tubules, this can eventually result in a renal failure. So just to recap, this is an example of lower urinary tract obstruction caused by benign prostatic hyperplasia, giving rise to urinary retention in the bladder, bladder hypertrophy, bilateral hydroureter, as well as hydronephrosis. Um, this is also a potential cause of urinary tract infection because of the stasis of the urine and also urinary tract calculi. The pathogenesis is actually due to dihydrotestosterone or DHT, which stimulates overgrowth in the prostatic epithelium as well as a stroma, hence hyperplasia. However, the actual reason why this happens is not clear. So what happens if the urologist were to do a cystoscope, putting an endoscope, uh, endoscope through the urethra, they will see that the prostatic urethra is very much narrowed, and over here you can actually see that the prostate is bulging into the urethra. Here's another example of a markedly enlarged prostate gland with a, a narrow urethra. And on histology, we will see evidence of this nodular hyperplasia of the prostatic parenchyma. And this is a benign condition, but remember that it can lead to urinary tract infection, uh, calculi, as well as eventually hydronephrosis and renal failure.